Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about a constructor program, fruit juice. Okay, which accepts the uh, product code and uh, what type of juice you want and what uh, pack type you want and all the details. And also, you are going to uh, give some discount amount which has to be calculated and then uh, display the final bill. Okay, which has all the details on the terminal window. So it is a it is a constructor program, and uh, you should you will have the class def uh, class description. You have to follow whatever is whatever description is given as it is in the program. Define a class name fruit juice with the following description. So fruit juice is a class name, but you have a space here. Actually, your class name should not have a space. Okay, and so you can join this and make it as a single word. You have some uh, instance variables, or you can call it a data members. First one is int product code. You can see it is two word. You can see an underscore there. So use it as it is. Stores the product code number. So you normally, if you go to any fruit juice, fruit juice shop, you will have a uh, menu card where you will have some numbers. Okay. So you can just specify the number. Automatically, the person who is taking the order will know what uh, what type of uh, menu you want to order. Right. So that product code will be there. You have to Enter the product code. Then next one is string flavor stores the flavor of the juice. So it like the orange, apple, or any fruit. Okay, you can specify that name that is string. Okay, so that will be stored in flavor. And then next is string pack type stores the type of packing. So it is a tetra uh, tetra pack or a pet bottle. Okay, whatever uh, type you want, you can specify that. That is also string type. Okay. So the string has to be typed, and if it is a two word, you you see that you type uh, with the with the uh, underscore which divides. Okay, and that is uh, which joins the string. Okay, you cannot write uh, two different words because you are, we are going to use next uh, next statement as an input statement. So if you use next statement, what happens? It will take only the first token. Okay, so see that you join two words in, in, with the use of uh, underscore. Next is int. I, T is missing is uh, missing here. Int pack size. Okay, stores the pack package size. So it can be 200 ml, 400 ml. But if you specify 200 ml and 400 ml, obviously the user will type that ml also. But since it is integer, you have to specify only the numbers. So you can specify 200 and 400. It's so better to use this whatever is given in bracket so that the user who are executing the program will have some idea what has to be typed. Okay. Next, int product type, product price. So you have to specify the product price, store the price of the product. Okay, this is what you are going to do it. Uh, that is, you are going to declare the instance variable which is given in the description. Now, member methods. So what are the member methods you are going to use? Fruit juice. Okay, it's a default constructor to initialize the integer data members to zero and string data members to double quotes, open and close double quotes, which is not specified yet. Okay, so you have one, two, three integer variables which has to be initialized as zero, and two string variables which has to be initialized with open and close double quotes. Then you have a void input method to input and store the product code, flavor, pack type, pack size, product uh, product price. That means you are going to display. That is, you are going to enter all these values. Okay, in input. And then void discount to reduce the product price by 10. So they, they they didn't specify whether it is percentage or exactly 10 rupees. Okay, since the product price is integer type, you cannot use percentage. If you use percentage, there is a possibility of getting decimal value. Okay, so we we are, we are going with uh, 10 rupees. So you are going to reduce 10 rupees for all the uh, whatever product you are uh, purchasing, right? Next is void display to display the uh, all the details that is product code, flavor, pack type, pack size, product price, everything. You are going to display it on the terminal window. So we'll see how to do that in the program. So in Bluej, I created a program. It's a very simple program. Just follow what is there in the question. It is very simple. So first line import Java dot util dot scanner. You are going to import uh, import the scanner class which is available in uh, Java dot util package. Okay, into the program. Now I have created a class name fruit juice as per the question, and then I have created uh, the uh, data members, or you can call it as uh, instance variables, int product code, pack size, and product price, and then string variables, flavor and pack type. So these are the variables which has been given as the instance variable. Okay. Now I have created a 
default constructor to initialize the data members okay whatever is given with the in, uh, default values so product code equal to 0 which is of integer type flavor equal to double open and close double quotes pack type also is uh, in, uh, string type so it is uh, initializing the default value open and close uh, double quotes pack size and product price uh, which is the integer type so i uh, used the default value 0 so this is what you are going to do as the uh, what, uh, whatever you are going to do it in the constructor now input method so since you are going to get the input from the uh, user you are going to use the scanner uh, you are going to create the scanner object okay so that line scanner uh, is equal to new scanner system dot in sh line should be inside this method because here only you are going to get the input now you are going to get all the input one by one first one is enter the product code so product code equal to se dot next in it will take the token uh, integer uh, as integer and store it in product code then the flavor you can see within bracket i have given the uh, flavor so that the user may have an idea what to type okay so it will be stored uh, use next so that it should be a single word so that will be stored in flavor the next product pack type so here again i have used the uh, pack type uh, samples are given here uh, tetra pack pet bottle etc all that so according to the example given the user will type the uh, value which will be stored in pack type next input is uh, enter the pack size uh, here i have given uh, 200 and 400 i did not specify ml here if i specify ml automatically the over is executing maybe may tend to enter that ml also which will give an conflict because it is integer type so if you type uh, ml it will be a string and uh, there will be an error right so that's why i specify 200 400 you can specify whatever uh, ml you want that will be stored in uh, pack size and then finally product price okay so whatever price uh, you are going to give it for that juice you can specify it here it will be stored in product price so this is what you are going to do it in input method next is you got uh, void this uh, discount method it's a very a very simple line product price equal to product price minus 10 because you are not given any variable for discount okay in the data member so uh, whatever product price is that you are going to just reduce my uh, 10 from that okay rupees 10 from that that will be stored in product price again so that will be updated the product price will be updated and it will be uh, stored in and it will be displayed in the display that is void display so next is void display you are going to display all the values so product code flavor pack type uh, pack size product price and then you have got the variables in the right hand side so you have to put a plus sign and then uh, type as it is with the underscore wherever is necessary as per the data member you created okay so you have created the uh, the instance variable the same variable has to be used wherever you are using the program and one more thing you can notice in the program wherever uh, that is the last line after completing void display there is no specification that you have to create a uh, main method so i am going to just show you uh, how to execute this program without main method okay so you are going to compile this program uh, click close so right click on it click food juice okay click ok now what happens is you can see an uh, box the red color box it's open it is nothing but an object which has been created so right click on it so you got three method here one is input second one is display and third one is discount so you should execute it in the same order so you can see first you should give input and then you should uh, click on discount and you have to click on display by default the object has been created automatically whatever uh, instance variable you de declared in the program will be initialized with the default value specified so no need to worry about constructor it is already been executed once you start creating when you click on the uh, fruit juice icon uh, fruit juice um, option create a uh, create object message box appeared so there itself it automatically executes the constructor and all the values are initialized with the uh, default value now you are going to go for void input first so you can see product code uh, that is the terminal window opens with asking you to enter the product code so you should be some number so i am just entering some number say 15 enter the flavor so orange or apple so i am just typing orange pack type uh, tetra pack or uh, tera pack or uh, pit bottle i'm just typing tera as it is tera pack then pack size i'm going to give it as a uh, 400 and a product price 
so I am giving it as a 65. Now nothing had happened, so you don't think, don't panic. What happened? Nothing has. You have just entered all the values. You have to just close it. Okay. Now it is stored in the memory. Now click on discount. If you don't click on discount and click on display, what happened? That uh, minus 10 will not be included. Okay. So you have to click on void discount. Okay. No terminal window open because no system of print line is there in that uh, method. Right. Now the discount function has been executed. Now the value has been updated. Okay. Product price has been updated. Now click on void display. Now you can see I uh, whatever value I entered. I displays and uh, you can see the product price very particularly I guess 65 minus 10 is 55 that is already updated it is displayed on the screen okay so this is how you are going to execute the uh, constructor program that is uh, whatever is given in the class in the description okay without using a main method right if you are using main method and create an object and call all the above method it is very simple you now need to execute it separately you can uh, it automatically executes it but if without the uh, main method okay manually if you want to create an object and uh, execute it one by one you can do this method okay so uh, that is the beauty of blue j uh, you can execute function by function it is not available in a uh, notepad that is a traditional way of uh, uh, pro programming where notepad has to have one main function otherwise you cannot execute it but in blue j you can execute uh, all the methods separately okay so uh, this is what we want to try, uh, say it in this video. Hope you understood. We will meet in the next video. Till then, thank you.